I like giving gifts, and one of my favorite books is the, four, the Five Love Languages. Um, and it just talks about just those different ways to show or receive love. So giving gifts are one of the things that I've been practicing, because you know when you give, you receive, and all those other things. Um, so I met a friend this morning, and she moved into her new apartment. And um, uh, she didn't have any plants in there. I wanted, she didn't have any plants, and I was like, oh, she needs a plant. So I was literally going to get a drink, and I was like, this plant's for her. Um, so I called her, and she was coming down, and I gave her the plant, and that was love for me. My name is Quan Young. I like to, I've been calling myself a multi-dimensional being, and I call myself that because I'm multi-dimensional. I do a little bit of this, a little bit of that. I'm a creator. I love creating things. I like seeing them up here and I like putting them out into the world. Whether that's painting, sculpting, fashion design, uh, cooking, uh, starting businesses, whatever that you know entails, I like seeing it up here and putting it out here. I grew up with both my mother and my father and my brother all in the same household. Um, my brother, my father, drove trucks, so he went back and forth. My mother worked as um, a call center for F FedEx. I was three years old and my house caught on fire, and I was in the fire, in the house. Yep, me and my father, and my father got out. Um, I was in, he had to come get me. Um, but after that, we, we moved into an apartment building. And we, everything burned down, we didn't have anything. Um, and moving into that apartment building, you saw the family members that we had and the people that I had no idea existed in life came and gave food, water, clothing. My grandparents opened their house up to us. It was just a flow of energy and love and yeah, after a fire comes the people, I guess. <laughs> I had a great childhood, but to see the things that I lacked now right, to be an adult and to say, if I only had these things, then I'd be in a completely different space. But the beauty is to not have those things and to be able to cultivate these things now makes it so much more tangible. My grandmother, she was a big gardener, big planter. Um, she would plant bulbs in the fall and you'd wait till the winter and you'd see them come in the spring. But her face in the springtime from the bulbs that she planted in the fall, that was love for me, just seeing her happiness when the tulips would rise and the irises would open up. That was love, you know? My relationship with my grandmother was, in my eyes, beautiful. You know, it was, she taught me everything I know about plants. She taught me everything I know about cooking. You know, I watched her cook. I watched her plant. Um, we talk now, you know, still to this day about cooking and plants. Um, and that was love for me. Just having that communi communication, right? Just having that ability to talk and having that ability to listen. Um, yeah. My life is really weird to where growing up I didn't have many inspirations. I didn't have many people to look at to say, that looks like me to do what I'm doing now. It's really a self-fulfillment. What makes me happy? You know, what makes my inner self happy? What is my self-love? You know, what does that look like? And I just cultivated that over time, and it just continued to grow. April, <laughs> Goddessa, I call her Goddessa. Every day I'm still learning the amount of love that I have for her. I think the defining moment was uh, the keys. <laughs> I loved, <laughs> we were getting, we were moving from our one studio to our newer studio. Um, we didn't plan for that either. We thought we were keeping both, but you know divine timing. Um, I got the keys from the uh, landlord and I lost the keys. Um, it was, it took everything in me to call her and say, hey, like I lost the keys. And I'm like, okay, you're gonna wanna sit down. I lost the keys. She's like, okay, I'll be there. She came the next morning. Uh, we were still moving, we were packing things up. And we were like, we need to find these keys. So we sat down, turned off the lights, and played I Got the Keys by DJ Khaled and Jay-Z. <laughs> and we, were, we closed our eyes, and we, were, we saw the keys. We saw them in our mind. We saw us cheering for these keys. Didn't think about it else. We was like, oh, we're going to go look for them. We went to go look. We went outside. Mind you, I looked around the entire building. I looked outside already. We went outside, and she picks them up out of the snow. In that moment, I said, we can do anything to
together. We can do everything together. All we got to do is want it. And that was the moment where I was like, uh-uh, girl, I love you. <laughs> I love you. <laughs> to be challenged by love and not knowing, not being taught how to love, you know, not being taught how to love myself, not being taught how to love someone else. Every day is a challenge. Every day I wake up and look in the mirror, I'm like, okay, you got to love yourself today. Like, if you don't, you're, you're going to run into some issues. You know, you have to love everybody that you meet because if you don't, you're going to run into some issues. And I don't like no issues. <laughs> We don't know what other people are going through in any day, circumstance, or situation, you know? And if you can give an ounce of care, right? Let's take love out of it really quickly and just caring about someone, you know, just a, a present moment with someone that really allows for someone to feel seen, heard, and open enough to be aware of their own circumstance. And if they can become aware of their own circumstance, then they can become aware of everyone else's circumstance. And if everyone is aware of everyone's circumstance, then all you have is love, because all you do is have is care, you know? I have this line, and sorry to go anywhere, but I say, I can only pull the colors out the black. And what I mean by that is there are dark spaces, right? Dark places that people go where people are unaware of. And when you go into those spaces, the things that you pull out of them, the trauma that you endure, the, the experience that you think were sent to destroy you, you know, when you go into those spaces and you, and you really pull back all of the, the, the layers, you really find gems or seeds that can be planted to grow gardens <laughs> and thus soul garden, you know? Just keep loving. You know, uh, love in the best way you know how, you know, love is not, def there's no definition of love. There's no exact love, no finality to love. It is endless and just keep letting it be endless. Let it be a river.